are you telling the story or am I? This is a sit down story, I think, to be honest. <laughs> We've got a story. Yeah, but I'm so hungry. I just want to eat straight away. Long story short, we sat down somewhere that we thought was amazing, looked good, had all this great pizza, and uh, looked at the reviews as we sat down, and that was a mistake. <laughs> but it was a mistake in the end. No, we dipped quickly, thank God. So, like one star reviews the whole way down, and I was like, oh crap. So, we had to get out of there just so they serve us water. So, we paid five euros for a water for the privilege, and then walked around for like 45 minutes. I would say longer. We've been walking around for so long trying to find somewhere that does good. Obviously Italian food, but vegetarian. We found it so hard. Like the reviews for literally every single place that we found were horrendous. And I'm not like, I'm, we're not exaggerating. They were like horrendous. So it's been such a struggle. We eventually found somewhere on a back street which had amazing reviews. Like literally said like best pizza in Venice. And we decided to take away and then we're gonna sit down here with this gorgeous view. Now this is the best restaurant in Venice. <laughs> That's Phil's standard boring margarita. Playing it safe. <laughs> and then I went for seasoned veggies. Oh, well that looks tasty. Mm. Right, let's dig in. I'm starving. That was a piece of lids. It was really good, yeah, really good. It was worth the two hours of walking around trying to find a good place. Who knew it was so hard to find pizza in Italy? But it is a super touristy area, so it is like all tourist traps, but we got there in the end. No, I just went for it. We were planning to do this tomorrow. <laughs> the guy was so lovely. I was like, okay, yeah, walk, walk. <laughs> so here we are. Go on the gondola. You wanted a red one too. So. I did. I, I walked past and I looked over the bridge and I said, that's a really nice gondola. <laughs> and then the guy was lovely and I was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> gondola ride, here we go. So here we are. How long have you been there? Yeah. How can you not? <laughs> Yes, the 
Friday there was a police boat and everyone's boat was... Yeah, this was <laughs> <scary>. <laughs> Do you want to explain what you just did? <laughs> <laughs> we just had the most magical gondola ride. Like, it was it just was awesome. Actually. So we were planning to do it tomorrow. Um, we thought we'll either do it before or after dinner tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so we weren't prepared. We just finished having our pizza and we were just wandering around. And then, I don't know, it just literally felt perfect. So like, we were coming over a bridge and I just spotted this gondola and it was the most beautiful gondola I've seen <laughs> since we've been here. It was just perfect. And I just pointed out to Phil and I was like, oh my God, like how gorgeous is that gondola? And then we came down and then the gondolier was just like, oh, would you like a ride? And we're like, oh no, 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 like, you know, not with, not today. And then I was just like, no, we have to do it. We yeah, have to do it. And I just turned around <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> and then we did it and it was honestly, we had a lovely guy, he was called- Luca. Luca, yeah. Yeah, Luca's a legend. Luca the legend. <laughs> <laughs> he was so lovely, like the most perfect, gondolier for us because we're not like crazy I don't know how to explain it but like uh, bubbly. he's yeah bubbly I guess we're yeah not very, not very out so like he broken. wasn't over what's the word he, he was just right like he, over he got us talking a little bit but it wasn't too much that it was uncomfortable we yeah. had moments where we could just like enjoy it and then moments where like he could tell us the history of some of the buildings and stuff it was so peaceful as well literally yeah it was oh, just it was so perfect like the the timing of the lighting was literally perfect. Like, it was dusk, so it was just starting to like get dark. It was like purpley lights, basically. And yeah, everything and everything was like, it, honestly, I'm just gonna keep saying the word <laughs> perfect because it was it was so perfect. The only downfall was your phone ran out of battery. Right at the end, yeah. And Phil's phone is much better than mine. Mine's way too old and my camera's broken, so a couple of photos might be pretty awful. We had a photo of Luca, but um, it, was, it wasn't it was the a best. potato photo, <laughs> but yeah absolutely perfect like we were starting to have a bit of a crappy evening weren't we like we yeah. had an amazing morning in Burano and it sort of started going downhill but the I, I started to cry I was, it was meant just to like, be it was meant to be yeah overcome with emotion it was just <laughs> insane so we are um, about to go home we just picked up some gelato um, because of course you have to <laughs> every night yes um, yeah and then we're gonna walk back to our Airbnb and just have a chill because we have to get up really really early tomorrow yeah, we do actually so that is it for today's vlog thank you all so much for watching our first day in venice it's a good one. i can't believe we're here. like i just can't believe we're here it's amazing it's so surreal. thank you all so much for watching please give this video a like if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe because there will be more venice videos to come yeah. and we'll see you on the next one bye guys see you.